This is the Lara Valley panoramic view. You can see the brook down below. We're looking to the west now. sedentary rocks for those of you geologists you can uh, tell me what happened mm -hmm. on the volcanic layers the house down there and then as we look to the cave area you can see lots of caves and there's 3,000 caves in that valley and people just trying to save themselves Used oil production Interesting Looks like they did terracing farming up here. They did terracing. You can maybe hear the birds. Take a it's tiny Turkish tea. Okay, so we're going to go inside the church that is pretty old. You can see the pigeonhole cutouts. This is, we'll call this more recent human activity within uh, two, three hundred years at least. But this church has stood here for a while. Let's see if there's a date. 10th century and the first half of the 11th century frescoes inside. So these frescoes that we're about to see are a thousand more, a thousand years old. Let's go have a look inside. Let's go see. There's our friend. Hi. <laughs> Having her ice cream. <laughs> the Ala Khaleesi. Oh, wow. That is the Last Supper. Okay, so here, let's come down here. It's my get some floor. stable fruity. So, this looks like that is the Last Supper. Let me back up. Let's see if we can figure this out. No, that is the Last Supper. It's not right. I know it looks rough, but that is it. And I'm betting these are the apostles. Some of you aficionados might be able to give a little more context, so make sure you leave a message and a comment so we can tell what you're looking at. I got a feeling, I know who that might have been, maybe. This just is a little prayer room. It literally is like for one or two people, maybe four if they jammed in there. This is actually fairly sizable, and it looks like it's carved straight out of the rock. This does not look additive. I would imagine this is gonna need some work. I see some pretty serious cracking. This could be quite dangerous. Look some of that rock, but the frescoes need preserving. Unfortunately, it costs money and human time. So if you're an expert and you have the money, send it. See if they can spend it. Amazing. This would have been, I'm guessing, candles, maybe? But I don't see any carbon burning. Here, 
unfortunately, modern humans have carved their names into the fresco. That's not very nice to do. Don't do it. And that was probably the cross up there. But you can see most of this is gone. It's just forever. And most likely, they used the pigeon eggs, the shells, crunched up, and they created a, a base above the rocks so the frescoes could last a thousand years. And here it is, right here. This is a giant corkscrew, an ancient torture device that they put you on and twisted you up like a piece of bread. I don't know. But I got a feeling this was actually probably more of a winery or oil production. I doubt they threw you in there and tortured you, but you never know. If you know what this is or what it was, leave a comment. I got a feeling there's something missing from the top. There are bracings here. That looks fairly modern. There's the log going across. So I should be able to cross here without falling into the pit. Hopefully. If you're a thud, it's me. And, oh, there's more tunnels. Oh, there's more tunnels that way. So this is very dark. I'm with my glasses, they're dark. I can't really see. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> it's just dark. Um, there is something. Oh, she's saying it's grinding the seeds in the room. Let's try to cross over here carefully. Hopefully, I'm not violating any, any cultural laws. <laughs> Let's see. We're going to go exploring down this next cave. Oh, oh look at this a giant millstone and a bowl. This definitely, there was fire in here. There's carbon up on top. This was definitely grinding. I don't think I'm supposed to be in here. <laughs> so you may be seeing the only time ever another human being's been in here. Oh, I guess we can't get through there. <laughs> but look at this. That is very thick, thick carbon. And I'm thinking that's something went in here and dripped out here. This is oil or wine. I'm gonna say a winery since it's a church. But again, you don't know. Pretty amazing stuff, absolutely amazing. Look at this, this is, they milled something big in here. This is millstone to grind the seeds. Yeah. And here you can see the oven. Right side? Yeah, this is the oven, and then there's something that tripped out. Maybe yeah. animal fat uh, for no. candles? No, actually, you know, they also used after here, um, you know, to separate seeds from the leaves and the other ah. things. Mm -hmm. Outside, we have also something like, you know, carving. Also, they were using, you know, for the seeds to take them out. Also, they used this one. Some of them, they had to roast. They were roasting in the... Uh, oven and they grind it in the millstone. Then they use this machine, right and left side, to produce oil to lighten inside the structures. It's a heck of a factory just to make light. Now we just flick a switch and the electricity hopefully is on. Just incredible, huh? Would have brought it through here and thrown it down in there. <laughs> this is pretty cool stuff. Again, we can see what modern people did. But again, uh, hey, thanks for watching and make sure you watch the video that's on the screen right now for more paths to the past, present, and future. See you in the next video.